Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at the O-Knife Roboto. And this was sent to me uh, very generously by our good friend Tim S. You guys know Tim, you see him all around the live streams and everything. And he is Mr. O-Lite as far as I am concerned. But like I said, this is the Roboto. This came out during their October sale, Olight's October sale, they do some fantastic sales every month. As a matter of fact, the Black Friday sale should be coming up here, I believe it's the 22nd, is when it starts. And, now, when I said these came out, they came out and they went. These sold out very quickly. Um, they're built by Kaiser, so I'm not sure if maybe o Olight slash O-Knife maybe does a limited run they put them out see how well they sell and then maybe make more i'm not, i don't know that to be a fact but that's kind of what i'm it's kind of the vibe i get from these knives that are sell because they sell out quick and i mean they could be that just that popular too but i was hoping they would come back in stock for the black friday sale but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen it says right on the website Estimated time till availability is basically the first of the year. So, well, I'm going to talk about it. Tim sent it out. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you how much I, I do kind of like this knife. But, so, what are we looking at here? Like I said, this is the Roboto. Man, you got that pop of blue right there on those liners. And it even comes through. Got these open areas, these milled out areas on the G10 liners where that blue kind of comes through. It's kind of cool. Got a very generous lanyard hole there. Very cool. Deep carry pocket clip, recessed pocket clip screws. That is also awesome. Now, as you can see, it is an axis style lock. They call it the rail lock. So there you go. But we're definitely going to talk more about that in a minute. But like I said, this is Kaiser built. It's done very well. The liners, they don't really stick out they it almost feels looks like they do but they really don't they really don't stick out or shadow box the scales at all they just and they've got super super they got great grip and even these milled areas they do kind of assist in the grip but they don't they assist the grip but they don't affect the grip negatively i should say they affect it positively so there you go but everything is milled out chamfered even the milled areas are done very well. I mean, like I said, it's a it's a Kaiser knife, and Kaiser's just been killing it lately. Even the thumb studs, dual thumb studs, you got the pop of color. Now, it is right hand tip-up carry only, as you can see there. So, I'm sorry lefties, but comes out very, very nicely. I, I'm not going to do it behind camera. I can kind of reverse flick it every once in a while with the stud. But not behind camera. It's not even going to... Yeah. I'm not even going to worry about it. But it actually comes very smooth. This rail lock is super smooth. Um, Yeah. It is really, really, really smooth. Golly. Now, I don't know if Tim... I forgot to ask him if he tweaked this at all. I know he said... I also have the Vosti Thunderbird that we'll take a look at. I know he said he got that and sent it right out to me. So I know he hasn't messed with that one at all. But golly, Tim, if you did touch this, you've got this thing tuned in beautifully. And if you didn't, this thing was awesome right out of the box. Holy cow. Very nice. But all right, let's check our specs and I'll tell you what I think of it overall. But as you can see, well, we'll just go into the blade. 154 cm. Tanto blade, there you go, there's the model number, kind of that nice black washed finish on it, nice swedge, there you go, there's your compound edge on that Tanto, that's not really compound, but dual ground for the Tanto edge, there you go, very nice, alright, now let's take a look at our specs. So what do we have overall? We're looking at, oh, get it back over there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right about eight inches. You're looking at just a little over four and a half, 
as I'm measuring it on the handle. I mean, slightly over. I'm getting a blade length of right about just shy of three and a half. Cutting edge is going to be right about three and a quarter. And then your grip length, you're looking at one, two, three, just over three and a half on that grip. Now, you don't really have a whole lot to choke up on. Trail does come out past that plunge grind pretty nicely. Your thumb studs are set back pretty well. Out. They might be in line. They are in line with that. Your cutting edge just a little bit, but not too bad overall. They really can't be set back much more. I mean, they could be, but yeah, that would be, yeah, you still might be able to flip it out there. But they're not too bad, but they are in that cutting, in that cutting line just a little bit. Teeny bit. Teeny bit. But all right, now we'll take a look at our size comparisons. Of course, we'll get the PM2 out there. Overall, the PM2 is just a hair, just a hair longer in the blade. And yeah, probably about a quarter inch in the handle as well. So pretty close. Throw the bug out out there. There it is. There's our bug out. So then it's going to be just a little bit longer than the bug out. So good kind of middle of the road knife there between the bug out and the PM2. Going to get a weight on it. Still creaking a little bit, getting that voice back, but hey, we're doing it. 3.6. It's got a really good weight for its size. And then, of course... Oh, of course, I laid my PM2 and my bug out on my Hank. Definitely a deep carry. Nice. So overall, what do I think of the Roboto? Well, I tell you what, the thing that impresses me the most is the action on that rail lock. I mean, it is. I've said it, I don't know how many times so far, but it. I'll say it again. It is super, super smooth. And that's really... Why I was so hoping these things would come back in stock for their Black Friday sale. Because I know I've had a couple of people ask me about them. And I was like, they're out of stock and I'm not sure when they'll come back. But it does say on the website now, basically the first of the year. Now these are selling, regular price, they're selling for right about 90, 85, 85, 84 dollars is what they're selling for. This thing is super comfortable in hand. The ergos are really good for me. The pocket clip, not an issue. You know, you know me, Tantos aren't my favorite blade style, but I tell you what, they have their purpose. They work, they cut just like any other blade. So, I mean, it's, it's a personal preference as far as that goes, but that is a pretty good look at knife overall. It really, really is. And for it being a Kaiser made knife, I mean, you guys know Kaiser. They've just been they been killing it lately. The drop bear, holy cow. Well, I got it right here. I mean, this is another Kaiser-made knife. And this, that's silly. That's a silly good action on that one, too. So, I mean, Kaiser knows what they're doing. They're doing it well. And I'm really, I'm really pretty stoked that O-Knife, O-Lite, O-Knife, went with Kaiser as their OEM. Uh, they did a good job. Not that other companies don't do great out there. You know me. I I'm kind of partial to my Finch knives and they're OEM'd by QSP. So a lot of good OEM work out there. But hey, O-Knife did a good job picking Kaiser for these. That's pretty much that's pretty much all I can say. It's a really, really well done knife. And I really, really appreciate Tim loaning this one out. Giving me the chance uh, to take a look at it. Because like I said... I didn't get one on the sale. They sold out quick. And, well, I was kind of SOL, if you know what I mean. So, hopefully, hopefully, uh, this will kind of give you guys a little bit of insight. If you were wondering about it, thinking about it, dude, when they come back in style. And watch for Olight sales, man. Their sales are terrific a lot of times. They, they discount these knives pretty well. Um, well, a, a lot of their stuff they put on sale. 
and discount it down pretty well. You guys know I'm a big Olight fan. I usually give Olights away in all my giveaways. I get them on these sales because they're just really good prices. And it's a really good price for a really good product. So really appreciate you guys checking it out with me today. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.